The Korean turtle ship, also known as Geobuxion, was a unique and powerful warship used by the Joseon Navy from the early 15th century until the 19th century. These ships were known for their armored turtle shell-like structure and were instrumental in defending Korea against Japanese invasions. The ship is still famous today for its innovative design as well as its role as a symbol of military power. While designs varied, these vessels typically measured between 30.5 to 36.6 meters in length, with a beam of 9.1 to 12.2 meters and a height of around 6.4 meters. Due to a large tidal range, shallow tidal plains, and rough waters around the coastline of the Korean peninsula, Korean ships were traditionally constructed with a U-shaped hull and a flat keel. This design enabled even large ships to maneuver well, no matter the water depth or sudden changes in tides. Plus, it made them easy to use on shallower channels throughout the country. Additionally, the turtle ship featured a U-shaped hull, which gave it the advantage of a more stable cannon-firing platform, and this ability to turn within its own radius was useful to attack enemies by spinning at the same spot using cannons mounted on the four sides of the turtle ship, as cannons in those days took considerable time after firing and before cooling and reloading. The main disadvantage of a U-shaped bottom versus a V-shaped bottom was a somewhat slower cruising speed. The turtle ship's deck was reinforced with overlapping wooden planks, measuring between 5 and 30 centimeters thick, effectively shielding it from arrows, musket fire, and incendiary attacks. Covering the deck also allowed the crew to observe the enemy, but the enemy could not see inside the ship from outside. Additionally, the deck was covered with iron spikes to discourage the enemy from attempting to board the ship. The spikes discouraged Japanese from engaging in their primary method of naval combat at the time, grappling an enemy ship with hooks and then boarding it to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. One of the most iconic features of the turtle ships was the dragon head mounted on the bow of the ship. Large enough to fit a cannon inside, the intimidating creature's head also emitted sulfur smoke, effectively hiding the ship's movement from the enemy during short-distance combat. Some early versions of the ships also allowed the crew to burn poisonous materials in the head, which would emit toxic smoke. The dragon head served as a form of psychological warfare, with the aim of striking fear to the enemy. In the front of the ship was a large anchor. Below the anchor was a wooden crest that was shaped like a face, and these were used to ram into enemy ships. The turtle ships had two to three levels stacked up on top of each other. The first deck had non-combatant personnel, such as the rowers, who were positioned between the lower deck and the upper deck, away from enemy fire. The combatant personnel were stationed on the upper deck, which allowed them to attack the enemy from a higher vantage point. Below is a large ballast water tank to maintain the stability and balance of the ship. Despite popular depiction, the turtle ship was not an extremely slow ship. Turtle ships were propelled by a combination of sails and oars. Admiral Yi constructed the turtle ship to be fast and agile for the purpose of ramming. It has ten paddles in each side, and four rowers are arranged to one paddle. Oars were also used for maneuvering and increased speed. Another advantage the turtle ship had was that it could turn on its own radius. The turtle ship had two masts and two sails. The masts were designed to stand up or lay down as necessary. The turtle ship had 11 cannon portholes on each side. Usually, there was one cannon porthole in the dragon head's mouth. There were two more cannon portholes on the front and back of the turtle ship. The heavy cannons enabled the turtle ships to unleash a mass volley of cannonballs or special wooden bolts several feet in length, with specially engineered iron fins. The turtle ships had on board several varieties of cannon such as those named Heaven, Earth, Black, and Yellow. Heaven was the largest cannon with the greatest range and the most common cannon on the ships. Earth was a smaller cannon and Black and Yellow were smaller still. 
Wangu, a kind of mortar, which fired stones or shells with a radius of 20 centimeters, was also used by the Korean Navy. There are also holes for archers to shoot arrows. Its crew complement usually comprised about 50 to 60 fighting marines and 70 oarsmen, as well as the captain. A highly disciplined, tactically proficient, and technologically advanced fighting force, specially prepared to face the impending invasion. The turtle ship became a symbol of Korean naval power and military prowess, showcasing the nation's innovative defense capabilities.